Hi there, thanks for the assignment. For the past few days, I have been exploring Cypress over the evenings. I've really liked it. So in this quick walkthrough video, I'll just present my thought process while automating this application and some of my design approaches and patterns used in the code. It is very clear that in my scenarios, I have to validate some cart flows followed by discount flows. In order to validate those, I have to pass through four main pages. Typically, the user can go from home page to products page in three different ways. The first thing is from navbar because in navbar we can see chairs, sofas, all menus are listed. And the second approach would be using body. In body there are cards, category cards and finally in footer also we can see the same. He can choose the product from any menu and he'll be taken to products page. Here every product will have two states. One is in stock and one is out of stock which, which is referred as sold out. If he select in stock he'll be taken to product details page where he can add more by clicking on this add to cart or he can continue to the cart page using this cart button in the navbar he'll be landing into cart page so the main agenda is to validate these core and important points uh, throughout the flow if we just analyze the structure of the pages my navbar and footer are always same i don't want to rewrite the code we can extract them as components and i have used pom pattern to automate this application all right so here is my typical folder structure as we just discussed i have isolated navbar and footer as a components under components folder in the left so i have created a separate folder for pages so this base page will be acting as a parent page every page in the application will be inheriting that page that basically holds the control of viewport and viewport and couple of logging methods and in the end obviously utils and builders will follow now let's see the structure of the project as we know, any typical Cypress project will have the same structure with node modules and JSON files, configuration files. So inside this Cypress folder, I have created one more folder called page objects. Obviously, all my tests will be relying in integration folder. For this page object model, inside components folder, I have placed navbar and footer classes. These are components which will be used by all pages which are residing in this pages folder. If I click on navbar.js, you can see the code. The name of the class is navbar which is representing this part, only the top part. So all the objects inside my navbar I dumped in this class. These are static variables which are supposed to hold the selectors of my objects in the navbar. Here are a couple of methods to perform actions on these elements. All right. Let's see how I'm using these methods in this. So inside integration, I have created a folder called E2E. So I've grouped all the card flows into card.spec.js. Here, see the first test can add chair to cart from header menu. He, he should be able to add chair to the cart uh, by accessing it from the home page header menu. That means he should click this first. All right. In order to perform that action, I'm simply calling the navbar component. I'm asking it to click chairs. Coming back to here. So here we got products page. All right. So if I have to add chair, I need to click on chair, which takes me to product details page. So this is products page. I'm checking whether my page is loaded or not all right after checking so i'm just asking products page to click on a product and i'm passing the data here so data is nothing but chair data so basically i'm feeding this from fixtures there is something called chair data where i've given couple of products there so i'm just feeding from there so let's assume we are clicking this product and this takes me to product details page i'm asking this product details page to just click add to cart once i click add this add to cart card should be updated to one all right i'm just verifying whether my card count is one or not click add to cart method which is inside product details page as i said there is one base page uh, which will be acting as parent for all pages there is product name which is referring to this black shell chair and add to cart button this button and product price price image i've also did image validations whether the same product is displayed or not uh, just let's check this method before that click add to cart. So I'm accessing the global object of the Cypress and I'm just performing get and uh, in the class level Whatever the variable I have initialized here. I'm passing that as selector and I'm asking it to click So we may get a doubt like why I have to prepare a separate component The thing is e-commerce applications are very much prone to change Let's say some festival season came and client decided to add a little functionality for 10 days like a pop-up should come as soon as he clicked on this like you have successfully redeem your discount something like that some intermediate step then i need to go to each case and change 
But if I just define the behavior as a separate component, if I isolate them, I can simply add step to uh, handle that pop-up so that all cases will be working fine. So the idea is to keep things loosely coupled so that if one component fails, that will not be a dependency for the other component and the others will work the same way. And coming to the product image validations, just I'll just go to my test cases. All right. So if I scroll down here, so first thing is I'm clicking the chairs in the nav bar in the home page. This takes me here and I'm in the products page. I'm clicking on a product. Uh, let's say I click on the first product itself. So in product details page, I click on add to cart. All right. After that, I'm accessing the global Cypress object and I'm passing the image selector. Obviously, this object will be residing in product details page. So inside that, that this is a static variable I'm accessing from that class and passing it to site.get and later I'm invoking the attribute. So obviously for every image, there will be an attribute. If I just inspect this, I could see the source attribute. This is the JPEG file. I'm accessing that attribute. After accessing, I'm, I'm binding that to expected image variable. Now I'm clicking on navbar.clickcart, which takes me to carts page so cart page dot product image so in this cart page this is my product image so this product image will be residing in cart page i'll be accessing the product image from that class so this is static variable so that's why i'm able to access directly from that i'll invoke the source attribute and again i'm binding it to actual image so here i'm just putting an assert statement uh, whether my actual image is uh, equal to expected image so basically it will compare the source attribute which will be accurate because the source file is always same again if products will have multiple images obviously the strategy uh, should be changed by implementing the page object model the code is very much readable i'll just quickly make a run and show you the output in my package.json i have declared a couple of command scripts by using that i can directly run first things first i'll show by running from cypress ui for that npx cypress open this will give me the cypress ui so we got this here i'm clicking on card.spec.css which will open my chrome browser and will trigger the entire suit all right all my cases are just passed and this is the ui version we can see the time travel feature provided by cypress which is really impressive if I just want to the get the videos and screenshots of that, I can use run instead of open. And I have also declared a couple of flags which can be used on this basis. The reports will be pulled over here. And regarding the reporting, I'm using Mocha or some reporter. So this is my HTML report where I can see all the details. things. I have integrated with Cypress dashboard. So these are the triggers which I did yesterday. I can see the best results with specs. And all. all right. And you can go to repositories. I pushed all my code to Cypress shopis.io. Along with this, I tried also achieving the CI pipeline from my GCP. I have configured a couple of things. Yeah, but there are a few things to be configured. I'm still working on this pipeline, but I just don't want to uh, delay this assignment that's pretty much about this assignment uh thanks again uh for making me to learn with a purpose and i'm looking forward for your suggestions or corrections and the feedback thank you